somebody get this girl a deal. It's Ahmad, the Black Michael Wilbon. D Mac is here. What it do, what it do, it's G Jones. And this is the Funky Militant Hadar, and we are The Garage Department. And we want you to check us out each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Only here on 92kls.com. Yes, sir. The champ is here. The champ is here. Hey, do what it do, what it do. What it do, everybody? We're here in the garage department. We're here with our, with the Brothers Tribe. We're here with. It's Sunday night. Hey. Y'all know what that means. Welcome to the garage department. Hey. Sports talk. With your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the funky militant, Adari Jones. We got the tribe in here. Yeah, what yeah. Do, what it do? Let them know who you are. Uh, it's that boy, Mal Mizzle. What it do? D Mac back and better than ever. Ahmad, the black Michael Wilbon. We got a special guest with us as well. Yes, indeed. Very special guest. Yes, indeed. We're here each and every Sunday night hey. from 6 to 7 Central Sanders time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we are now on Spotify. Hey. hey. Yes, indeed. Yo. What it do? Yes, indeed. Yo. Got a special fight night edition of the, of the, of the, of the garage apartment. This, excuse me. This next Saturday. Man, next, this Saturday. That's this Saturday. January this Saturday. 19th. This Saturday. Yeah. January 19th yeah. for the Manny Pacquiao Adrian Broner fight. Make sure you check that out. Got a very special show today. We got a very special guest. Hey. The champ is here. Our very first guest here hey. at the hey. Garage hey. Apartment. Hey. Undefeated Texas middleweight champion, help me with it, Ralpho Igbokwe. 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 The champ. He's here. How you doing, sir? Thanks for being here. Yeah, Excuse yeah. me. Ralpho Trouble Igbokwe. Exactly. Trouble is what we call it. Trouble. Trouble. <laughs> <laughs> In the building. Right. In the garage apartment, man. So, hey, man, let's get right into it. Undefeated champion. Twelve and O. Six KOs. Six KOs. Hey now. Hey. Watch out for the hook. <laughs> so it, it's evident that you're serious about what you do. How do you get into boxing, man? Yeah, I gotta get into it. Yeah, how'd you get into boxing? Really? <laughs> and every time I ever been in jail, I always first thing I do before I even start praying. 
<laughs> that's what I would do. Hey, that's Absolutely. Like, that's life advice for everybody right there. I think it starts praying. And I think I think that's the best thing. Please, Father God, pull it off. I thank God for this. Let me make it. I'll never see it again. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That that whole thing was, yo, let me just get out. I ain't trying to be here, man. Yeah, I'll be always telling me, y'all ain't for nobody. Uh, uh, the one incident, I got into a bar fight. Uh, uh, you got into a bar fight? Bar fight. Damn. So, long story short, it was about <laughs> five charges. They, they hit me with a, uh, was an underage drink. Wow. And three people trying to press charges. Wait, you, you hit three different people? Yeah, it was more than three people. <laughs> <laughs> so you was in the bar fight all by yourself? By oh, no. Wow. And you were saying. fighting multiple people? Multiple people. And that's when you realized I should be You were fight. winning this fight? <laughs> hey, I had the bars when they shot. Oh, oh it's okay. a real street okay. fight. Okay. Ah, okay, a bar fight. It's not like self-defense. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. Well, every time it's three on one, that's self-defense, ain't <laughs> it? Still be. Oh, yeah. good. Okay. Father God put in place where I had to fuck the ball and leave. Father God don't like no bitch. I got to work the street. <laughs> yeah. uh, if anything, like, the big door I broke, like, I'm ready. Like, I ain't picking up the ball. I'm like, look, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Like, do you yeah, have to what ask me something? What kind of question is that? <laughs> really? Are you serious, Yana? I'd have been like, I can show you better than I can tell you. <laughs> Matter of fact, watch me. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, man, y'all have to dismiss this case. <laughs> so I remember going to, and then, like, I was coming out. I remember getting in the car, like, talking to myself out loud, like, hey, man, what's going on? Bro, I'm sorry. You fucked on Precisely. Yeah. Right. Cool. Right. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna join the gym. Like I pray for. If it don't work, I did what I like. Hey. Yeah. yeah. So now that's you getting out the situation. But what makes you decide? All right, I'm finna go box. This is what I'm finna do. Yeah. And where did you go? Uh, 
All right. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Ain't nobody about to just haul off and kick. Yeah, I say, bro, like punching is different, but when you get kicked, yeah. Bro, kick, bro, a kick will drop anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's like a baseball bat. Yeah, so I was like, man, I remember sitting in the corner, like, I coming out of nowhere. I remember, like, everybody was going home. I was like, yeah, I see y'all tomorrow. I knew damn well. Knew you were coming out. Not to mention, you feel a little disrespected when somebody kick you, like, First yeah. off, you kicked me. Secondly, why I didn't see that coming? Right. Nah, he, man, he played off good shit. He had his hands dancing all day. Right. Oh. And then the foot came. What well, was it? The shin. Yeah, it was like a, like one oh, of one of them front, front kicks. Kick. He hit you with the front that kick. That Anderson Silva front yeah. kick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, change. Don't feel bad. I've seen quite a few fighters get dropped by that one, man. Career change at that moment. Okay. Yeah, like the South Beach and right. And I remember I just always knew it, but I never had no confidence. Like you know, you always want to be in the gym, you always want to fight out. But I remember thinking back then one day I was pulling up. I remember I think I pulled up and I knew I could fight on the streets, but people don't know, man. Boxing and street fighting two different. Oh, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Right about that. So that boxing, thinking, but oh, it's the sweet science, here, man. man. Plus, thinking, it's three minutes. Yeah. I went in here thinking that that street fight gonna take me places. Like, oh, right. Man, Did you really? You came out. That came out your mouth. <laughs> wow. First time in the gym, I'm like, yo, coach, I'll whoop anybody in the gym, and it won't come back laughing. Yeah, he knew <laughs> I better. Like, I was like, nah, for real. I'm really. I, I was never tell him, man. I'm really like that. Like, I was like, call your best. I'm really like that. Call him. And then he was just like, coach, I ain't gonna even get the best. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy, <laughs> Leroy, I got a rookie. I got fresh meat over here, baby. He said, he said look, I'm going to give you a free week at the gym. Man. We're going to train that Friday. We're going to spar. I'm excited for him. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm looking at everybody <laughs> on the bag. I remember that Friday came. Hell, like the first day of school, I have my gym clothes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You fresh. Yeah, you yeah, fresh. Yeah, fresh. Yeah, you fresh. Yeah, you fresh. Round, I'm whooping dude, but it looked bad. It's just like a street fight. This is wild. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm letting get you go. Exhausted. Getting, getting exhausted. Getting exhausted. So three minutes go. I'm trying to get out the ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. The, the coach holds me. He's like, hey, minimum of three minutes. I said, minimum of three. Minimum of three rounds. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, God. God. <laughs> I got to do this two oh, more yeah. times. Why you didn't say like, that in first? Do you know? Bro, I'm telling you, the, after them two, the two, three rounds, bro, hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was one point, like, I'll never forget this point. It was one point, I'm on the ropes. My head just went like this. <laughs> word, <laughs> word. Oh, just man. taking them. The coach uh, was like, hey, Ralph, it's okay to move your head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I didn't have to do that. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> So that didn't scare you off? Nah, like at the moment, like, yeah, I'm like, I got a coach here. Like, I see myself here. Everybody on the bag, like, we see different people. Because both people was at, in the gym, like, both Sean Khan had a similar problem, had some trouble at home, and mm-hmm. they were fighting. I was like, man, this is mine. Yeah. yeah. Everybody here. Yeah. All right, so where, where are you from originally? Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah. but you're from Houston, though. Yeah, Houston. All right, where, where you live when you were in Houston? Like, at first, I was, like, over there, like, on the southwest. Okay. West, what man. you throw it up? The Southwest? Get out of here. West, man. Nah, you, nah, gotta, man. You, gotta, you gotta throw them. Stop it. Stop West it. Belford. You gotta take them from West the shoulders, Belford, man. Uh, hey, hey, so you're from that. Houston by way. What, what, yeah, you're from Houston by way of Nigeria. Right. So you Ebo. Shala Fiani. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all I know how to say. <laughs> Shout out. Oh, and they usually, look, they usually respond with Adukwe. And yeah. I don't know what they have said to me. What does I that know mean? Kai. Or Chai. How you say that? That's T, man. That's T. That's a curse word, though, right? Yeah, it's not just like a letter. Okay. 
So Sha Lafiani, that's like, what's up with you or something like that? What is? <laughs> you don't even know that. <laughs> so what's a duke way? Oh okay. man, I do know it's slang, but yeah, I mean okay. that was Broke the homies it. when I was going to school. That's right, what right, right. They, yeah. Shout out Fiona, they be like, a duke way. They was well, like, man. yeah, that's how you greet them. But yeah, so, yeah that's like what's popping. So <laughs> exactly, you're still in the fairly beginning stages. However, you are the Texas middleweight champion. Well, hold on, hold on, because I want to go back. Now, did you have an amateur career? Eleven amateur fights. Yeah, you okay. a late bloomer, right? You started boxing at. 21? Yeah, man, that's a late start. Well, that's late compared to most fighters. I shouldn't say that's a late start. Oh, boy. Only 11 fights? Why only 11 fights? I ain't mad at that. If I'm going to get beat up, you're going to have to pay me for it. Well, that's I ain't getting Mexican, up beat up for free. Hey, but that's what the Mexican fighters do. Yeah. They don't have any amateur career. Yeah, that's why you got all these Mexican it heavyweights. Yeah, that, with losing records but, and what? would still be champions. Well, no, nah, but you got all these Mexican <laughs> champions, but you never heard of a Mexican Olympic amateur? champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually the Cubans are the, are the strong yeah. amateur Cause fighters. Because they can't go pro. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't want to know what the hell ain't here no more. Huh? Yeah, but continue. Uh, Right. Ain't nobody ever gonna be criticized if y'all ain't gonna go to turn pro. I'm gonna use that as my love. Let me be learning while I'm getting paid because every fight is a learning experience. Absolutely. That's how I learn as I go. Okay. Yeah, I took my 11 and 0, ran with it. I said, yeah. You were 11 and 0 amateur. amateur. You was 11 and 0 in amateur. Okay. Yeah. Did you make it to Gold Glove? Golden Glove? Yeah, that's how we're in trouble, K. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, hey, so yeah, there we go. Trouble. Tell us about the name uh, Trouble, the nickname Trouble. We try to find nicknames all the time. We just in the amateur. That's a whole other people think boxing is a like the boxing is a profession and just like the politics of amateur alone is like the politics. Right, right, right. Most yeah, so most times it's not even like did he land them punches he throw or is, yeah, he, is it all the time? It's you know? pretty subjective. Yeah. Yeah. So most times, and there was times I hit people and, you know, it's, it's love to take in the amateur and wear the head gear. Right. 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 So it was times I was hitting people in amateur. I was like, man, if you had that head gear, right? <laughs> <laughs> you'd have been on you. the floor. <laughs> 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 like they that. even changed one of the rules, right? You can't, like, you can't knock people out in amateurs anymore, right? No, you Right. Boy, you being knocked down. Okay, okay, so if you knock them to the floor, do they like take points no, from it? Oh, okay. I heard you, that you back in the. One good time but they and they step in yeah, and give you the standing eight count. The only thing with that amateur stuff, man, you can might really be winning because it's based on points, yeah, right? On you points. can be winning the fight, dominating the fight, but you losing on points. I remember the Flo- I watched Floyd get cheated out his his gold medal. Well, like the that. most infamous one is Roy Jones. Of course, yeah. Roy Jones was. Tough. I don't get us started. Yeah. On yeah, Look, we showing why, our age now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, 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 because Roy Jones was your inspiration, right? That's why. Oh, okay. So, have you seen that fight? I did, like the Olympics. And the yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like I said, they always got they, they who they gonna win. Like right. The Depending on the country and, yeah. and the whole city, and uh, yeah, it's 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 a trip, man. It's a trip. It's a trip. Okay, so so while this whole thing is going on, okay, now we all know. Uh, uh, Nigerian parents have very high expectations. Okay, so how did you break the news to your parents that I'm going with this as a career? What was that conversation like? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe what you say to me. I 
Of course, yeah. Like, even me, if I had kids, I wouldn't put my kid in the box unless that's what my child solely wanted to do. Like, right. You know, I really want a box. So, also, I really just seen her as, like, just a blip. Like, one mother wanted to see her child get hit. Yeah. So right. I, I knew it was just, like, that motivation. Like, all right, I know if I show her winning, I'm going to feel this. Like, all right, so, like, she's going to lighten up. And I can't go with this. Like, well, I would be a boxer. You get your, get your ass whooped. Like, right. Yeah. That's gotta be tough to watch, even if you're yeah. very good at your craft. Yeah, so yeah. Like, no, I got it. I got to show it. So it's really like no pressure. Like let's just let's just go home and do it. So now that you've shown success, what's her attitude now? Exactly. Like she from she behind it. Like she was really behind it. So it's just like okay. Does okay. she go to the fight? Yeah, she fight. She ain't never missed a fight. Either. Never oh, missed yeah. one. That's Biggest nice. fan, huh? That's, that's awesome. awesome. <laughs> like, I think during the amateur stage, like, she would get, like, two to three beatings. Right. Like, I think her point, like, this is my perspective, I don't know. I think her time was more, like, the amateur days, like, just for just to get, like, some notes. Like, right, right, right. Just, just know what you have to do. Right. You all this earth to get to do how they did do. Right. And it's like, like, she win it, so it's like, all right, well, this is just for him. Well, okay. What, what, what? Family always support. So, yeah. what does she? What does she want you to be? Because, like, you know, from the history that I've had with Nigerians, like education is very important education. because they want you to go be something very, very prestigious, so you can go back and. I think they're real big on education because in, in Nigeria, education not free. Right. Right. So when they when you come to a town where education free and and why y'all not using it to like the fullest, like it's free, like. They feel like, all right, dang, you got this paper, it ain't free, now it's free. Like, use it to your full, of, like, get the best yeah. of my uh, work. Right. You're going to be at the top, like, doctor, lawyer. Right. Because, so you mentioned, you mentioned you were getting in a lot of trouble. Yeah. And, and what's interesting about your story is that um, you were here, here in Houston, and then you said you got in some trouble, and they yeah. sent you to Nigeria. Tell us about that. So how, how much of a culture, even though you're Nigerian, how much of a culture shock was that? Yeah, that was a big culture shock. Like, cause I, was, I think everything changed. Like, my, my dad died in 07. Oh. So he was uh, really, like, the, the discipline, like, right. the parent. So right. Like, he was the one to get the cane yeah, out on so you. Like, oh, you know, man. It was really both of them, but I was really <laughs> more scared of my, I was really more scared of my pop. Yeah, after a while, then mama yeah. licks don't hurt. <laughs> so when you he passed away, like, dang, like, I was hurt. Like, I was like, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, your spot. So I remember going out there, and I really like, damn. Like I remember witnessing no, no be. I witnessed somebody drinking from the, the little uh, what you call it, the water with the bottles on. The well. Nah, not the well. The bottle with the bottles on the curb. Oh, the uh. Oh, wow. Oh, what the? Oh man. Them kids was happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's life. Right. Well, hey, don't forget to join us next Saturday night, 10 p.m., all right? January the 19th, yes, sir. fight night, fight companion, whatever you want to call it. But we will be watching Adrian Broner, all right? The problem. We got trouble here. Adrian the problem, <laughs> Broner. All right, Versus problem. pac -Man. Versus Pac-Man. Pac Manny Pacquiao. All right? So we'll be in the house 10 to 12, uh, midnight. All right, so please, please, please check us out. 92 kelscom 92 all right? That's right. Right now, you're listening to The Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook.
Facebook, the Garage Apartment. We now have Spotify, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Ralph, what's your social media? Get uh, that out there for everybody. My Instagram is Trouble Ralpho. That's Trouble and Ralpho is the O. And then I have my Twitter. Oh, uh, you do got a Twitter. Yeah. See, I felt like an old man, man. Don't nobody have Twitter but me. I was like, what? what what's up? Like, no, you call it the Twitter. The Twitter, that's right. <laughs> the Twitter. It tweet, man. The birdie. The little birdie. Yeah. And yeah. What's that Twitter? Uh, uh, trouble, uh, trouble Ralpho at the number 52 at the end. Yeah, everybody go support. Why eleven fifty two? Does that mean nah, anything? No, oh, 52. okay, okay, okay. Oh, the number fifty two. Yeah, so now, do you play any other sport? Did you play any other sports? I play basketball, football, and track. Okay, so you keeping up with the playoffs? A little bit. A little bit. A little <laughs> bit. So now, outside. right now, My we got. Who is that? Yeah, who, who is, is your team, the man? Steelers, the Steelers. Steelers. Okay. Now, you got to explain this to me, man. How you from Houston, man. Right. <laughs> by way of Nigeria. <laughs> and mm -hmm. Steelers. But you a Steelers like fan, Steelers. man. Now, you too young to actually know anything about the Oilers. So, yeah. right, I'll give you a pass on the that. The fact that, you know, I, I can sp I don't, I'm can speaking for everyone, but I know the Oilers fans and us, something in me just won't allow me to be a Steelers fan. Right. It like, won't. I actually like Mike Tomlin. I do. And I like Antonio Brown, but I cannot root for them because the the nah. the, 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 the damage they caused us Oilers fans. The Steelers, How the Browns, are you from the Bengals, Houston? they all out. That, yeah, that whole that whole division. Man. Yeah, yeah, like the Browns, the Bernie Coles, uh, it's the bad, Browns, man. the the, the Bengals. Biner, yeah, we we just can't do it. So, what made you a Steelers? <laughs> what fan? made you a Steelers fan, man? Now, I remember, I forgot what game it was. It was one game, probably one of my first football game, and Jerome Bettis was on it. Okay. Okay. So okay. Player, <laughs> 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 and I remember just being little. Yeah, he's a good running back. I was just using him. Oh man! Yeah, see this fat man running yeah. like that. Right. Probably was Jerome something. Bettis was not fat. He and was on, just on la larger was than than stereotypical back. running backs. You yeah. stop it. That boy was big. okay, Hadari. Big, big bone running back. What are you trying to say? Stop. I'm trying to say what? That man was. You saying Jerome game. Bettis was fat? He was yes. fat. No yes. Yes. Jerome Bettis was not fat. Okay. He was chubby. All right. Then I'm not fat. LeVon Kirkland was fat to be a, a middle linebacker. Yeah, and Jerome. Okay. okay well, all right. <laughs> let's get back to our guest. Okay? Because that's that conversation going nowhere. All right. All right. So. <laughs> we'll say both of them out the league. It don't mean Man, please. Now. Yeah. Well, let's put a poll up on that and ask if Jerome Bettis was fat. You know what I it's gonna think? It's going to be 99 to 0. I th that's not true. Man, I got please. a question for you to wrap up. Six knockouts. Um, are you going in knowing in some of those that you're going to be able to knock them out? Is that just a, not a lucky shot, but you just caught them at the right time? Or are you planning to go in there and knock them out? Obviously, I would assume so. But yeah, how does that work? Make sure that, that fight don't go the distance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In this, in, this, in this business, you really don't want to leave anything in the hands of the judges. Right. right. So if you get that knockout, you know you got that secure win. So yeah. like, that's where you put a, a season on them. Like, Right. Like, yeah. I already, like, I already know. yeah, I'm in shape, but I, I want to go home very little. Go do <laughs> right. <laughs> now, do you see yourself as having one punch knockout power, or because you you're a southpaw, punch? right? Or do you just yeah, fight southpaw? South no, I'm a southpaw. You are yeah. south. You're naturally a southpaw. Yeah. Okay. 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 So. How's that feeling though? When you catch somebody just clean, you good know, one. Man, and you just watch them just drop. Like, you like, yeah. It's sometimes like, I, like the drop just came out of nowhere. Like, man, the next one was supposed to be. You got lucky, huh? Right. Right. <laughs> oh my god, like it's a god. So are there any advantages? What are the pros and cons to your southpaw style th that you see? So you are right-handed. Yeah. You fight southpaw. Yeah. So your jab is strong. Yeah, my jab okay. is strong. So, uh, but most time, like when I didn't check the footage, m majority of my knockouts probably one knockout wasn't with my right hand, mm. and all the other punches like was with my left. So you just setting them up. Oh, okay, it's working. Man. So how did you decide <laughs> you're gonna fight left-handed? Hey, that was my street fighting style. Okay. <laughs> oh, so not knowing any back better. To huh? right, back to the roots. Back to the roots. Coach, that's mm -hmm. 
It's almost more natural, yeah, though, because like you true. want your strong hand yeah. lead, like, when you first start fighting when you were in, like, you elementary school. You jabs with your right hand. When you well, I, I remember when I first started fighting elementary school, it just felt more natural to <laughs> have a lead. were you boxing, or were you yeah. just... No, 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 no. Like, elementary street fight. Yeah. I mean, elementary school yard fight. Yeah, you know, somebody... Sand, sandbox fight. Yeah, yeah, you know, real cool. sandbox. And man, you stood up with the, with, the, with the boxing stand? Well, you know, I, I used to... You know that. Just yeah. Trying to keep that chin back as far as possible. We just throw some punches to the assistant principal, get there. That sandbox commission, 15 yes, seconds. Indeed, so now, middleweight, man. That's a, that's a, major, that's a major weight class. Mm-hmm. That's Canelo Alvarez. That's, who I that's that. Triple G. <laughs> that's who you want. That's uh 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 who I'm forgetting. That's uh. He got like three more fights in him. You think? You that's think? It? No, no. That's he, it? Well, he uh, 36, 37. Yeah, he's like up there. Yeah, I know. If he take another loss, they played him with that Canelo fight. Yeah, he won yeah. that last fight, man. Yeah. Now I, I I don't know about the first one. I think he might done. Nah, I don't the know. First one for sure. You I say he won for sure on the first like, one? Yeah, the first one was Triple G. Yeah, the second one. Yeah, was, thank you. It could, it could be a toss up. I yeah, like, the second one could have been a draw. One, he wasn't. He wasn't as active to me. Yeah, they played me the first fight. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I, I agree with you right there. I ain't bet that second fight. I was like, nah. I know, <laughs> know she's going to get another cheat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Well, they fighting against Cinco de Mayo weekend, so. Yeah. Hey, we might have to make that a fight night. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. who you got in that, that one? Fight night you got Triple G? Triple G, my favorite fighter. Oh, is he? Right now? Next is Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford, yeah. Terrence Crawford. Hood yeah. Crawford out of Nebraska. <laughs> that mm-hmm. one quick. And when you can fight both stats. So you got you you have one coming up though, yeah, right? Fe- February twenty third. February twenty third out there in Beaumont. Yeah, that's that's a title fight. It should be a title fight. Big for like the ABO title. Okay. ABO for those yeah. who don't know what the ABO is, it, make American it clear. American Boxing Organization. American Boxing Organization. That is title fight Beaumont February the twenty third. Do we remember what the arena is? Nah, I think it's like. I'm going to get it for you. Oh, we, yeah, for sure. We're going to make it. I was going to say, make sure you follow him on Instagram right. and Twitter, and right. he'll tell you where it is. Exactly. Yeah. Because exactly. we're going to definitely put it. Well, that means in camp us. right now, right? Yeah. Currently in camp. Okay. So what's an average day look like for you? The average day is wake up, 5 a.m. Oh. Got the runs at 6. <laughs> How far you run? At 6 miles. Ooh. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 I remember them six mile days yeah. at Arizona. I don't know nothing about six mile. Yeah, I, I, I don't I, want I, to. I don't know anything I about that. When I played miles. ball, we ran two, and I thought we was gonna die after two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, oh Arizona, my gosh. six miles. They expect that six miles, and then go do stairs in the stadium. Like, man, mm-hmm. sorry, coach, I, I died. Yeah. <laughs> I so you do any stairs. stairs or anything? So what else? You do? You do any weightlifting? Like six times, but most times it'll be the bench or like the assistant band. Uh huh. But not no heavy. Yeah. Heavy weights, right? Yeah, because yeah, that really don't help you as a fighter, does it? They said, like, it slow you down. So you want to keep your flexibility, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah you, you want your strength, you but you want your flexibility. Yeah. Look at Terrell Owens. Well, Terrell yeah. Owens looked like Zeus, and he right. didn't use nothing but resistant bands. He yeah. never he never actually lifted. Well, at least he, that's what he claimed. He I also done. heard one thing they say is that when you got those big muscles, you got to feed those muscles. So, like, you know. Yeah, how many calories do you eat in a day, yeah. man? You don't even count. <laughs> Just go. Get meal prep, so. Okay, okay. So they usually. Oh, so, so it's already made already for you. You got like a personal it. chef or you just. No, nah, it's uh, they right. do like with the little sponsorship that I got with. Ah, uh, okay. Baptist food, so. Okay. So you just get it. You yeah, don't you don't yeah, count yeah, calories yeah, or nothing. They, they, they already got all that all worked out for you. you. Okay. Do all the calories. Tell them what kind of program you want most. You want like on the talk up, like bulk up. Mm-hmm. You want to maintain or you want weight loss. So okay. Yeah, they. Ooh, okay, <laughs> okay. So now, fighting out of Houston, and I mean, believe, I, you know, we, we, we try not to be homers on here. We got quite a few, but we try not to be homers on here. But a, a lot of people don't know that the Houston boxing scene is actually quite underrated. It is. You know, of course, historically, we didn't had the heavyweight champion, George Foreman. We had uh, Baby Bull. 
Yeah. Diaz. We had Rocky Juarez. Don't we forget had Reggie Johnson. Re- D- Reggie Johnson straight out of Fifth Ward. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Although I watched Roy Johnson. Well, hey, I mean, Y'all you know, came out, but yeah, he was still good before that. He was. He <laughs> yeah. could fight before that. It wasn't like he's just a bum. Yeah. But that fight up. was the first fight where, like, I think what Roy had, it was three consecutive rounds where Reggie Johnson landed no punches. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. It was, it was embarrassing. <laughs> you got the no Charro punch. twins. Yeah. So what is it? What I mean. Of course, being a fighter, you're real competitive. But do you say to yourself, man, I got to I got to hurry up and put on to show them folks? Are you trying to put on for the city or are you just right now, you just doing it for you and your family? What I mean, how does that, what is your, what is your approach to every fight? Motivation. Like, like, my motivation is really like family. Like, so really like be out of Houston, like you said, like Houston is like underrated. Like, my whole thing, like people always tell me, you ever go fight the Charlo Twins? I, I love to, but my whole thing, like I want Houston to build, like right. let like everybody right. have a belt. Yeah, Houston. like it's so big. Like it's so, like when they look at Houston, like damn, bro, they got like even like Regis Pugray. He a okay, so okay, up and coming. New Orleans, but now he he in Houston. Fights out of that, Houston. Like, that's that's that right. You got training. Ronnie Shields training yeah. down here, and no, uh, Kirkland is Kirk, Kirkland. Now he not training down. Here. He's nah, still Kirkland training in Austin, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Hey, speaking of motivation. You listen to music? What kind yeah. of music you listen to? That Meek Mill. Meek Mill be getting that, that one. Yeah, okay. Up before a fight and whatnot. Oh, he missed the kick. What That's do you do uh, when you train? What do you listen? What do you listen to when you train? Meek Mill. Meek Mill. Meek Mill be like, hey, shout out, out to Meek. Right. Hey, shout out to Meek. You got these boys focused, man. Yeah, so now you was talking about with your knockouts, right? Yeah. How dejected are you when you don't knock them out? Oh, and and how nervous are you when it goes to a decision? Like even yeah. if it's a fight that you feel like you've won, of course, like you said, we've all seen fights yeah. where you be like, "What? How they come up with that?" So how nervous are you at the at when it goes to decision, and how dejected are you when you don't knock them out? Now, like I'm not really because I know everything is like I always like say it. <laughs> My bad. Like I always like just like man, if it happened, it happened. Just really just try to stay in shape, make sure I look good. Like. As long as I look good, the whole, but like when the dudes start, when they do start counting up, it's like, oh dang, like who they favorite? Right. So, so I do like, man, like when I ain't, when I ain't get that knocked out, so I just make sure I do what I gotta do during, <coughs> during training and then just get on work. So if it goes the distance, you you feel it's completely out of your hands at that point. Like you yeah, don't feel no matter what of, you did in the fight, you don't I feel did like definitely it. out of your head. So like I tell, I didn't witness like fights. <laughs> right. Dude, dominate the whole fight. Yeah. It's nothing I see on, like, I didn't witness in my eyes, like, somebody get whooped yeah. the whole round, and the whole fight, and they still, still win, and still win the fight. So I just seen That's it crazy. Like, oh, damn, like, it, and the sad thing in boxing, like, what, whatever, what's that, after that day, it ain't no, oh, going back, or right, like, oh, it's, it's over, whatever, whatever they do, yeah, they do. The commission, it's, it's a wrap, you may have a rematch, but that, 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 uh, law still gonna be on your record, unless, they did like a drug test, like I seen right. a dude lose in the fight, and they go back check that he was on some substance, and yeah, yeah the fight to the. I've seen that happen. They they, they rule that a no contest, yeah, though, right? Yeah. So it, it won't be a loss. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. You ever been surprised by a decision to go in your favor? Nah, I ain't gonna say surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you just said, of like, yeah, that wasn't my, that wasn't necessarily my <laughs> best fight. <laughs> And then you they be like you pull it out you like yeah oh yeah 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 yeah. One of those fights to where hey the fight got pretty crucial. I'm like oh damn. Like, <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. Like, so pull it out though. So when when you're not boxing, what are you checking out for? Like what sports are you checking out for? Not basketball. I, basketball. I did want to play basketball. Okay okay. How tall are you right now? Five ten. Five ten. Okay. Are you a Rockets fan? Yeah, I am. Rockets. Okay. 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 Are you yeah, not a you not gonna a, say. A Cleveland Cavaliers <laughs> fan, or I know more. I don't think anybody's a Cleveland yeah, Cavaliers hey, fan. Hey man, the yeah. man's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Hey. Yeah, but but, but, but yeah. anybody who became a Cleveland Cavaliers fan yeah. became after one from the one. Are you saying they're fair weather? Are after, you saying that they the everybody Rockets outside did. of East Ninety Nine bandwagon fans? <laughs> everybody outside of Cleveland, yeah. Hey, after what the Rockets did a couple nights ago to the Cleveland, oh man, did you, oh, see that? did you see that? that? Oh, I don't think God. they want to be any. Like 141. Well, yeah, one they yeah. almost put 150 points on them, dude. Take it back. 
<laughs> Give me my money. Sorry, if y'all don't know. Sorry. We're watching the Saints. The and Saints. I need the Saints to win by 11 and a half, and so everybody pray for me. And the Eagles, <laughs> okay. and the Eagles game. Because I've been it's wiped out this weekend one for two. entertainment purposes only. Did he fumble? <laughs> no. He we already pick. discussed you, you you losing your fantasy and having to pay that uh, debt. It's so not, yeah, yeah, you might, you're not too good at this, bro. You no, might no, no, stop. no. Fantasy I can accept, but this is this is really playing with my bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alshon. <laughs> Alshon, straight ball, straight through Alshon hands, intercepted by Lattimore. Yeah. New Orleans could basically run the. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Go score a touchdown. 11 and a half. So I don't see that. Y'all tuned in to the garage apartment. Yes, on indeed. 92 KELZ. We're here with Texas middle, middleweight champ, Ralph Ilbokwe. Ibokwe. Oh, Ibokwe. 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 I'm sorry. Ibokwe. Yeah. Ibokwe. Ibokwe. I need to go to Nigeria and really yeah. take that my mind. So who you got winning the Super Bowl, man? Who you got? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you don't care? Yeah. You don't care? <laughs> oh, man, come on now. So, okay, well, how you feel about how you feel about the NBA? How the you NBA. feel about the NBA? Who you, who you? Because Speaking our, of the Rockets, I was going to say, because our engineer currently. here, our, our, our yeah, brother here. Rockets. Oh, well, you might not. You Man. might want to see. You say not Play making the playoffs? Right the playoffs? Hey, you, might you might want to cast that one out early. Hey, next time uh, the Lakers right. come to Houston, which will be in like four games or whatnot, you it's might want to hit me. LeBron a couple of times in the chin. I can say, hey, you yeah. know, as long as LeBron hurt. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, you hey, said that. <laughs> So good. good. Yeah. And, and be in second place, win more games, and still be in the seventh place. Yep. So I know, hey, the Lakers ain't got it. If they don't make no run for a good trade, that deal, I'm good with the deal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you know, spend I, a lot of time training, man. Do you ever do anything leisurely, like a video game? I know I used to be a big time. I, we I, used to be a big time video head, I, man. I play man. video games, but most times it's like hooping. I'll go hoop. So I stay off the track. Go get my cardio. That's yeah, how you get your cardio. Yeah, right. man, you gotta get in that pool, bro. Yeah, I got you. Got you gotta learn how to swim. Hey, <laughs> I, hey, we got you. Hey. I'm telling you, hey, we gonna talk. Yeah, Syrian show, Swim man. Academy. No, I'm talking about we gonna get plug, you in that water, bro. man. We gonna yeah, get everybody you. Everybody went there. Hey, we plug. all learned how to swim. You gonna realize, man. You know what? I'm what, man. Once you get that swimming cardio in, you gonna start really whooping on boys. You gonna be like, oh man, this is what I was missing. I'm trying to tell you, man. That's most. But do y'all do any? Do y'all do any water training? Like, do you do that's any, Alshon like, Jeffrey boxing too. moves nah, in the water or anything? Yeah, that's a lot you, should, of you should try that. Resistant yeah. training with with the water and whatnot. That's all I need. Low impact yeah. on your knees, you know, ain't, ain't, your ain't, ain't hurting you too bad. Look, we try to act like we just. I know, know, but. We ain't doing no training no more. We try to act like we Well, I mean, training. you know, but but you, you do have the expertise. Alshon Jeffrey is going to have to leave Philadelphia, it though. Is. That is bad. I don't think he's going to be welcome no, 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 in no. Philadelphia. No, did you see, did you see win, how bro. Alshon Jeffrey started this game? Alshon Jeffrey is the reason that they had the 14 It's not how lead. you start. It's how you finish. This he's is finished. true. His this inconsistency is, true. is but the But there's problem. no way you're going to run him out of the town like he wasn't the reason you are where you are right now. Man, them crazy people in Philadelphia. Man. Okay. And he only yeah, plays seven games after the year anyway. Say, he gets same, hurt off. These are saying Philadelphia people that – Bombed on Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah, they did. They did boo Santa Claus. <laughs> they did. They booed <laughs> Santa Claus. This is true. They but Philly's a fight Santa. town, too. But they should get the ball back. <laughs> Philly should get the ball back. Man, though. not if New Orleans do what they're supposed to do, get me my bread. No, they're not going to do that, bro. They're <laughs> going to run the ball score. three times like every other NFL and NFL team, and then they're going to punt the ball with 50 seconds left and see what Nick Falls got. Now, Sean Payton ain't that typical coach, though. Come on. Oh, oh. God, dog. All right. On that so, one. They uh, saw that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> they, might, they might. Who has? Nobody has any timeouts. No, the Saints looks, got one, but it looks bad. The Rockets up by bad. one, by yeah, the way. The who are they in playing? The midst of, uh, they playing the Magic. The Magic. I mean, yeah, I got money on them. I got a parlay. Well, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you can talk. Hey, it, it sports betting is pretty much legal in the yeah, United States now. It's a certain place. Not so where I'm betting. <laughs> Do you bet? <laughs> <laughs> Do you bet on yourself, Rob? Nah, nah. Nah. Are does. you allowed? You allowed nah, to bet on yourself, right? Really yeah, Floyd does all the time. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they have action on like everything. Like sometimes I go to the well, you know, <laughs> and then you see that I'm like, man, these dudes. There's some people with problems. <laughs> like you betting. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Gambling addiction is who real, bro. Fight on Wednesday night. <laughs> 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 Who's gambling? On that gambling addiction is real. Yeah, in, bro. In, in Jalisco, Mexico. Yeah. And they got man, action like, on that. I'm like, like where is that? Dog. Yeah. The elevation of like 64,000, yeah. 64,000. How do you even scout them fighters? Uh, that's oh, a dude yeah. just got a, uh, a gambling problem. But, uh, yeah. Well, Alshon Jeffrey lost this game. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you Not know. lost because they didn't, weren't winning. But it don't matter to me. I mean, I lost. So, it is. I right. didn't. It is a loss, huh? Yeah. It's, it's My win streak loss. continues. So, uh, I, I just want to get um, uh, Ralph's opinion on a couple of. So who do you see in uh, this big one, the, the 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 fight we're having for the fight night? Uh, Adrian Broner, Manny Pacquiao. Who you got and why? Nah, <laughs> nah Adrian Broner was one of my favorite, one of my favorite fighters. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, nah, I Are feel you gonna like say the same I thing everybody else says? If he keeps his head straight, <laughs> no, nah, I feel like yeah, if he stay focused. Yeah, <laughs> see that we go. If he stay focused because I, I feel like his other two fights. Where the ones he lost with Madonna and who else he lost? Uh, 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 well, he yeah. lost quite a few. He lost to Porter. The last he, he lost to. He, he beat Porter. Yeah, he did. He beat Porter. Oh, he didn't. He lost to Porter. Now he won. He only lost to. Uh, he he likes to Marcus Man, Garcia. Adrian Broner lost to Porter. No, he didn't. Know. He because he, he got the Porter. belt from. Him. Yeah. What are y'all talking about? Now nah, look, Don't he worry, only got two losses. Out. Adrian Broner lost to Porter. Sean Porter, he lost to Sean no, Porter. I remember that fight was on free TV. And then Sean Porter lost to Keith Thurman. Yeah. But and they, no. they in a smaller weight class from you, right? Yeah. Who would you, I don't know, this probably ain't a good question, but who would you say your fighting skills Yes, he lost to Sean Porter. He lost to Sean Porter. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. You're absolutely right. He did. He lost to Sean Porter. I watched that fight. It was a unanimous fight. decision. He got three losses. You did 33-3 th- three, and one. Man, I watched yeah. that fight. For sure. Because that no, was no, Cleveland no. versus Cincinnati. Yeah, it was on free TV, I remember. Yeah, I thought P- he won that fight. That's a PBC championship. Yeah, it sure was. I thought he won that fight. I mean, y'all going to learn to listen to me. Bro. Yeah, maybe one day. Right. Y'all going to learn to listen to me, brother, man. You know? Y'all yeah. listen to me. We going to be rich. You still under us. <laughs> He's still younger than us. I can't, Mikey I can't, Garcia, that was the one. Though. I can't lie. I'll never. We can be seventy. I'll never, I ain't gonna listen to this. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> so who would you who would you say your fighting style or, or 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 you most you fight most like? Who would you compare your skill your skill set to your style? Oh, I, even, I ain't even sat down to try to like look at. Oh, he look like. I don't even know. Yo, what? Cause I, I do I do I did see you 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 know you said initially you weren't a study of of boxing you wasn't a studier of boxing but you have become that now so do you watch any old fights and be like oh okay I might could try to do that I'm somewhat similar to his size or I'm somewhat similar I, I, I'm I'm a southpaw I can fight with both hands I got power in both hands and you know my most my watching I watch me trying to see like. They did what they did. When I like watch, like I watch my film and like see, I, I could have did this better. Okay. So that's really it. like you just on that Bill O'Brien, yeah. just gonna yeah. perfect what so we do. So you're developing your own yeah. style. So I was like, let me like watch. Some what worked perfect for somebody that. else probably didn't work. Like Absolutely. Work. Right. Absolutely. So I like watching like my film. Like oh damn, I missed that punch. Let me see, see if I can make him miss it. Like, so I like watching my stuff. Yeah, because okay. everybody has different angles yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. The way their body. Contorts and yeah. turns and can turn an opponent and where it is. So that's that's what's up. Perfect your own right. your own yeah. fight. You fight your fight. Yeah. Instead of really copying somebody else. Yeah. I want to get your opinion on a couple other fights though. Uh Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia, who you got? Nah, for sure, Errol Spence. Yeah. Errol Spence. 100%. He's from the area too. Yeah, they're gonna be in Dallas. Dallas. 100%. Up at uh, up at ATT. Right, hey man, I have to check that one out. Yeah. Yeah, he, he in the air. Mike Tyson. Fifth round. So now, you know, you Mike Tyson. about the fifth round? <laughs> you, do okay. you think one so? One more. One yeah, more. Go ahead, go ahead. One more. Amir Khan. Uh, Who Terrence is he Crawford. fighting? Terrence Crawford. Oh, that's <laughs> not even <laughs> close. <laughs> Terrence Crawford. Come on. Stop. I had to ask. The last jaw con? <laughs> Somebody booked the fight, so I had <laughs> to I'll ask. I'll never forget. Remember okay. when we was watching uh, Amir Khan fight uh, 
Danny Garcia. Oh, and I was like, bro, won't he just hurry up and drop him? Because I'm getting sleepy. Like, I was getting sleepy. I knew I knew Danny Garcia was going to whoop him, but I was just waiting on it. And so I was getting sleepy. And as soon as I closed my eyes, I hear him. I go, oh, there it is. <laughs> and I missed the whole punch, man. I was like, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, man. and it's like Amir Khan's one of those guys because this is some. Uh, is there a way to make your chin tougher? Better? I don't. Tougher? Not that I know of. That's called cardio, right? Uh, Stamina. Yeah, yeah, cardio is just. I just heard like. Chin or you just born with a chin. Yeah, you really just born. Like I've been getting beat off my life for about a month. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, the only way. Knocked all the cells off. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So now, because now you just made me think about now. You know, Mike Tyson always said everybody got a game plan until they get hit. Right. Right. How often have you deterred from your game plan after getting that first punch? Whether it hurt or not, you just like ah, we gonna do something else. For I've never had a tough fight other than my after the first fight. My first fight was probably like the toughest. After that first fight, everything is just it's in my plan since like where I. I got to change it up. But after that first fight, the first fight was probably like, where I, I, I got hit, and then that ain't going to work. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. So you got to change it up. So. so what do you do when it's a dude who's just as much faster than you? Because boxing is constantly adjusting. Yeah. I mean, that's what boxing is. It's the sweet science. Yeah. You got to constantly make adjustments. How do you How do you stay? How do you stay focused and determined in a fight when you know you're fighting somebody who's a little bit faster than you? Now, I ain't going to say necessarily better than you, yeah. but he's a little bit faster than he's giving you problems. Oh, man, now that's a good question. <laughs> my thing is just, like, in my head, whatever I got to do is going to happen. It's just, like, it's really instincts. Like, most times like, my coach will be saying stuff in the, in the corner. Do you even hear that stuff? You hear it, but it's just to get you focused. I'll be like, man, coach, that ain't working. I'm like, <laughs> 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 well, like you ain't in here fighting. Yeah, I'm the one out, in here fighting. Out, out there. Yeah. Check, check, check. <laughs> Check, check. Like, I hear that and all, but. Omaha, Omaha. So, it's most times, like, where I, I do hear them, like, they be like, man, stick that jab. Like, I ain't stick, like, like, most times, like, my coach is like, I like that because it gets you back focused because, like, that's what I got to do. He's like, man, he tired, he tired, get on him. But most times, it's, it's really instincts where it's just, man, coach, do what you talking about. I, I'm the way to the ring, like, right, I, like, right. I see the opening, but most times, like, my coach in the corner is like, it do get me on track, like when I am falling. I was like, "Oh, you you letting that you throwing that jab out there sloppy?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, I gotta check. I gotta check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I so is it you're out there literally thinking on what you're gonna do yeah, or what you're gonna like do next, or is it just I see this and so I react like most, this? I feel like it's instinct. Like I look back on film, I see some stuff I weave. I'm like, man, how the hell I did that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To piggyback, like that was supposed to hit. To yeah, piggyback on that, uh, on what you were saying about hearing your coach a little yeah. bit. Yeah. What do you actually hear when the fight? Do you hear the crowd? Do you hear? I hear the crowd. Like, most times, it'll, it'll be, like, distinct voice, like my mama. I hear, like, <laughs> you can pick that up. Yeah, yeah. like, distinct Mama be voice, out there like, loud, huh? Be out there, like, really, my sister, like, she the uh, baby. So I, okay. <laughs> and most times, you just, like, you hear the distinct voice, like, hit him, hit him. <laughs> yeah. I hear my after, kill him, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I hear my uncle in the, kill him, kill him, dead. <laughs> Boom by it, yeah. boom by it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Boom by it, boom by it. Little stuff you pick up in the ring, but in that ring you just focus like, oh, like it's like you locked in tunnel vision for one second. That'll be it. So now I just got a text. Shout out to my sister in law. What's up, Yolanda? She want to know, are you single, brother? Oh, <laughs> boy. For all the ladies out there. She say, what it do? Are you single? For all the ladies out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the first time he's been stumped on that. <laughs> I was going to say, for real. <laughs> yeah. No, I ain't going to play. Most times, like, man, boxing. Oh, look at that. Uh, okay. We just played us to the left. No, no, no. Come on. Mansplain to us. Mansplain. <laughs> Boxing one of those sports, like you really gotta, you really gotta be focused. So yeah. I know, like with some girlfriend, and I, not that I'm selfish, but I'm, I'm all on that. Yo, know, this ain't done. I ain't worried about nothing else. Mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't try like relationships to work. Cause like, man, you always in the gym. Right. Why you? My job. And then that, like, I take stuff and turn it left. Like, what you mean I'm always in the gym? Who you the devil? Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you gotta 
like, go. Like, ah. Oh. You trying to beer me off my head. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't going to work out. You supposed to jump in the gym with oh, me. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> baby, let's go. So let's go. It's relationships I, I try to get into where they can't understand. Like, right. Like, you really got to understand, like, any athlete's lifestyle, like, where yeah. you got to understand. The dedication. Like, it's most times I, I did have a relationship. We right. didn't go to a fight. The girl get jealous that she see other girls jealous. Like, it's going to be. Like, right. Like, it's going, like. Can't be all dudes. Yeah, it's not gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> that would yeah. work. So it's like most times, like, like I figure, like, I'm I'm at a stage where I'm trying to be, be the best person right. I can for myself, so I can be better for somebody. Like, and now, like, I'm all focused. Like, I don't have the space to, or like the room or the time yeah. to. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. Like, because I'm trying to be in the gym. Yeah. And I I didn't been there like how to be in a relationship. Yeah. Where I'm, mm-hmm. in the right. I'm like, man, I should be in the damn gym. Right. Man. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. No, you're absolutely <laughs> right. Most times, like, like that, like stuff like that, I'll be chilling with my boys, like genuine time, and I'm like, damn man, they, they ain't got to like come to us. Yeah, uh huh. I, I know. If I lose them, my coach gonna be like, you was chilling with your boys. Right, 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 right. Nah, that's that's what it is. That's, that's, that's the that, yeah, that's the champion in you, man. Yeah. Don't nobody. Yeah, if we gonna but do this, we gonna do this for real. Yeah, ain't saying, but yeah. because of those. Well, that's smart, though, because, see, women demand two things, oh, right? Oh, what is that? Time. Oh, okay. Lots. And or money, <laughs> right? And, and if you, got time, if you, you got don't money. have a lot of time, you, you have to give more money, <laughs> right? If you don't have a lot of money, you, you better be spending time. time. <laughs> so it's, it's one of the... spending time getting money, right? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that modisms right yeah. there, boy. <laughs> modisms. It's been that game. First game is for free. <laughs> hey. Oh man, man. Well, like the relationships, man. So, it's, and I'm at a stage where it's, it's not even me just being selfish. It's like I'm always just like I'm not where I need to be. So I know uh, exactly, and I know myself. Like a girl will like. It's been times where girls was like taking me away from mm-hmm. like where I needed to be. Like, man, I need to be in the gym, but now nah, she calling me up. I gotta right. go over there. So it's been some times like, man, I, I can't lose no fight. And yeah, it'd be the blame be the the real Well, how d- how do you find the balance though? Because I mean, there's no. I mean, you know, I know you playing the you you playing longevity in boxing, but I, I, does that mean you never gonna get involved with anybody as long as your boxing career is? It, 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 is at, at the end of the day, I'm a firm believer. Hey, of God's time when it's gonna mm-hmm. happen. Okay. okay. Somebody gonna. When it, when, yeah, when it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Like, if you would have asked me like ten years or fifteen years from now, like oh, I'm gonna be a boxer. Right. I'm gonna be in the NBA. Man. I, <laughs> right, 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 right. So like, whatever God wants in my life, like whatever is well, I just want to excel in it. So you want me to find a wife later on? Find <laughs> okay. it so it sounds like he's find open. Yeah. Well, yeah. mommy's not pressing, is she? Uh-huh. Is mommy pressing for? She pressing the uh-huh. NBC, but she was like, I want you to get body. I need to be. I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm really just waiting. So like, she right. needs to yeah. Okay. Absolutely, man. So, hey, we'll have to leave it there, man. Yeah, man. This hour went way too fast. I appreciate you coming, Ralpho. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you having Say it for me one more time. Ralpho Igbokwe, Texas middleweight champion, 12 and 0. Have a fight this February 20, 23rd in Beaumont. Beaumont, Texas. Versus, do we know who it's against? We don't even it know. Don't okay. matter, cause it don't, don't matter. It don't matter, right? I'm the problem. He ain't he's mad. the problem, but he's going to let us know, and then we're going to let y'all know. Exactly. Stay okay. tuned, so always. Yeah. All right, so give, stay uh, tuned, give always. Give your social media again? Yes. Uh, a social media, Trouble Ralph O. That's Trouble and Ralph with an O at the end. That's, that's Check him out on Instagram, IG. Twitter. Twitter is? Same thing, Trouble Ralph O. with the number 52 at the end. Already. Yes, it, indeed. It you are pleasure, listening man. to the Garage yeah. Apartment. Trouble we are Ralph here o. each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're even on Spotify. It's Spotify, been real. I Proud. appreciate you coming, man. We're going to definitely be in touch, man. I'm going to follow you. Definitely be in touch. And when that so world title. Hey, absolutely. Okay, when you get there, don't forget us. Exactly. We're going to be able to say, man, that was our first tomorrow, ever <laughs> guest. Matter of fact, we want the first We want the first, we want the first exclusive the with the champion. Yeah. Absolutely. Man, yeah. y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Uh, until next time, stay blessed, stay out of trouble. Either be good or be good at it. But follow trouble. Exactly. <laughs> hey, that's right. But follow trouble, man. Holla.